In a certain eastern town, there lived two brothers, Kasim and Ali Baba. Kasim was a rich trader, and his wife was the selfish, spiteful Fatima. Ali Baba was a poor but kind man, and his wife was the kind and wise Zainab. Kasim worked in the bazaar. When anyone bought anything from Kasim, he would count the money in a flash and stuff it in his pocket, then move it to one of his money boxes, which had very strong locks. Ali Baba was quite unlike his brother. In the morning, he would carry flat cakes, which his wife had baked, out of his house and give them to the poor. Here you are, madam. Have a nice flat cake. That's right. Here you are, sir. Lovely, tasty flat cakes. Could I have one? There you are. Oh, all gone, sir. Sorry. Drat! Then he would go and look for some work. One day, Zainab asked him to fetch some brushwood. Of course, my dear. And so Ali Baba took his axe, untied his little donkey, and went in search of brushwood. Ali Baba found some brushwood by the foot of a great mountain. All of a sudden he heard voices. It was thieves. Their leader, that man, cried with a great voice. Open, Sesame! A door opened into the side of the mountain, and he went in. When the thieves had gone, Ali Baba crept up to the door and said the same magic words. Open, Sesame! And the door opened. Ali Baba entered the cave, dragging his unwilling little donkey behind him. Oh, goodness gracious me! Goodness gracious me! Look at all this gold! There was everything you could think of. Great big sacks of gold, piles of diamonds and pearls, and silver cups studded with rubies. More than you can ever imagine. Fill this sack. Ali Baba chose two big sacks of money and set off home. Open sesame! Come on, donkey. Let's get out of here. Ali Baba arrived home toward evening and told Zainab everything that had happened. Oh, what good fortune! But you know, it's likely that those thieves will miss that money. So let's bury the gold for now, then weigh it up in the morning. And when we know how much we've got, we'll bury it again somewhere else. Ali Baba agreed with his wife, who was usually right, and in the morning he sent her round to Fatima for a measuring jug which is used for measuring grain. What could there be needing a measuring jug for? And, grumbling away to herself, Fatima greased the bottom of the measuring jug with a little honey. When she got the measuring jug back, she found a gold coin stuck to the bottom. And as soon as her husband Kasim returned home from the bazaar, she sent him round to Ali Baba's house to investigate. Ali Baba took his brother to where he had got the money and said the magic words. You can open the door. Open sesame! And Kasim ran into the cave. But Ali Baba went on his way. Help, Kasim. Pick up those bags. Don't forget the jug. But in his rush, Kasim had forgotten the magic words. And while he was still trying to remember them, the door to the cave opened, and there stood Ataman and the forty thieves, who were all very angry. They chased Kasim and killed him. Ataman, who had a simply atrocious temper, was more furious this time than any of the thieves could remember. And he chose Hassan, his nastiest and sneakiest thief, to find out who had got into the cave. Two bags of gold are missing! Hassan went to the town where he asked the first inhabitant he met about Kasim. The man pointed Hassan towards the house of Kasim's brother. 
Ali Baba. Hassan chalked a cross by the door to mark the spot. But Zainab saw him, so she found some chalk herself and came out and marked all the gates in the whole street with little crosses. Hassan brought Ataman into town, but they could not find the house, so Ataman was very angry all over again. The following day, Ataman, the robber chief, came into the town again, and this time he did find Ali Baba's house. Ataman knocked on the door, and Ali Baba, who was a hospitable man, invited his guest inside. You are very welcome in my house. But not only did Ataman have a most unfortunate temper, he was also very sneaky. Much sneakier than Hassan. And he had not come alone. He had brought with him a whole string of donkeys carrying unusually big pots. He led his donkeys past Ali Baba, through the gate and into the courtyard. Ali Baba led his guest to the main room and made him a place on the carpet. Go in and make yourself at home. You are most kind. Zainab brought things to eat. Please, eat. Then she danced the customary Eastern belly dance for their guest. Ataman liked her dancing very much and wished he had a wife too. This man has a good appetite. I'll make him some more food. Zainab went to the courtyard with a very big frying pan. She heard a strange noise coming from one of the large pots. Her bandit started crawling out of it, so Zainab hit him with her frying pan. Then she hit all the other thieves with her frying pan too. Help, Zainab! Ataman himself came out to see what all the noise was about, so the fearless Zainab set about him as well. This is how you repay our hospitality, you ungrateful guest. And this was how the wise and brave Zainab outwitted Ataman the thief. And, as you have guessed, Ali Baba and Zainab lived happily ever after. Our house is your house, dear guests. to get all the treasure and escape from Ataman. If he gets all the treasure, he will be saved. Use the arrow buttons on the keyboard to help you. awaits you, but you will see it only when you have made a picture in the center.
and a good eye will help you clear the picture of unnecessary items. For each success, you will get a coin, but for each failure, you will have to pay. awaits you, but you will see it. Help Zainab with the thieves. You have the pan and the left mouse button to help you.
Fill this sack with treasure from the cave. The arrow buttons on the keyboard will help you fit more in.
下。Zainab, with you can play knots and crosses. Use the left mouse button. Fill this sack 